Just a quick recording here today on Godzilla Reds again released in 1955, the year after the original Godzilla was released. As far as I knew, this film didn't have the greatest reputation. Um, I remember it, it was in a massacre cited as having one of the worst shots of Godzilla of all time, it being that being the one of uh, there's an overhead like, kind of bird's eye shot of Godzilla from a plane as he's walking along and like a snowy island or some kind and it's just it isn't very good it doesn't look convincing whatsoever it's fair to say however like for much of the rest of this film it, 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 there's many many and I've, I've tried to showcase some of these in my screen caps for phenomenal displays of, of the Gojira suit that they, they almost were they were far less insecure about showing him off about not showing him off for the sake of tension he sees all over this film as is his He's a kaiju combatant, Angiris. Angiris makes for a great monster. You know, you're having the kind of Ankylosaur slash Triceratops counterpart to um, Godzilla's Tyrannosaurus analog is was, was really the smart thing to do. I think it makes for some. Yeah, th th this was the first. You know, this is possibly plausibly the popularizer of the prior to some of the films of the '60s. Of these kaiju battle films, wonderful. Different director of the first film, rather than Ishiro Honda, we have a film which, although what is interesting is that Ishiro Honda seemed to believe that this film was better received than the 1954 Godzilla, because people weren't happy with the the political, the socio-historical messages of Godzilla. 1954. Director Motoyoshi Oda, he he his direction of the human sequences. It's fairly classy and well framed, and then there is his handling of the the monster fights, and as well as just the monsters themselves. Just when we were just when we were just showing Godzilla battling against some planes off of the coast, or um, or um, getting attacked near the um, the ice toward the end of the film. It's, it's he's he's very confident and and secure about displaying his, his monsters, you know, they're, they're, they're right up front, and they look relatively good, I think. I think the, the photography is of a high quality, the suits are of quite a high quality. This is arguably Godzilla at its most, I mean, I don't know, let me check the, it doesn't show me the budget for Godzilla raids again, um, I'm wondering if this is a case of someone please clarify if they know, that would be absolutely fantastic, if this is a, one of the cases of, you know, lower budget sequel to a successful film and lower budget knowing that oh the sequel's not going to make as much money so we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll throw some money over for a sequel we'll, we'll, we'll make the profits back maybe versus you know oh Godzilla was big let's throw even more money over to a sequel I'm not sure what's going on here because I wouldn't be surprised if it was the the, the, the sequences of the city destruction aren't as elaborate I suspect the money's going to the two suits and um, the maintenance of those but in my opinion, the film's not half bad. I mean, as a standard kaiju bash, it's far from just being merely generic. It's 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 a lot of fun for one of these things. I think the um the excitement and the um the, which motivates the subsequent ferocity of the movement and the the display and the presentation of the monster fight. There's a certain energy and um, enthusiasm which which hangs over the affairs, the proceedings. It's a the, the first time that this is really happening in in a motion picture plausibly I mean in to such a degree it's a it's a fascinating historical document really not as good slash serious as the first film although as a kind of non-serious unpretentious simple monster bash sequel to got the original Gojira which decides to go all out and add another monster for him to fight and it's focused on that rather than any um serious implications of, you know, what would happen if a creature like Gojira arrived and what does it um, remind us of, of our own recent histories and, and traumas in the case of God, Gojira 54, yeah, Honda's picture. Or rather, Motoyoshi Oda, you know, despite, despite Takashi Shimura returning from the first film, there, there, isn't, there isn't much of an attempt to sincerely... Um, I think, I really noticed this, there's one claim that the Godzilla Raids again serves as a metaphor for the Nagasaki bombing. Steve Rifle notes this. 
I don't know the source. Was it? Oh, and the commentary of the film from 2007. I have not listened to that. Possibly. It's hard to say. In any case, this would be our last Godzilla little picture from the 1950s. Got King Kong vs. Godzilla would follow in 1962. Better than one might expect, I, I, would, assu I would assume. There's not much to say here, an improvised video is more or less what I felt like, felt was necessary here. Have a fantastic day, night, wherever you are, however you are. I hope everyone is well. Thanks again.